I'd really had no kind of like structure to it. So like um, I've been an in, in-person personal trainer for about four years and I'd literally had no structure. So that was clients would pay me. I'd coach them. They'd go move on the next person, next person, and so on. And then I was just get so tired with like, if they canceled, I had no money. Um, so in-person personal training is great, but if you've got no strategy, you've got no, um, you get no money basically. So I had no, no back end to the business. It was just the love of coaching. And now I approached you to get that kind of structure behind the business. Yeah, this is what most coaches kind of fall into. They have a passion for the fitness industry and helping people and they're all great coaches. Well, most are great coaches. So they kind of survive on that and they don't think about the business side of things, mostly because they're building a business based on referrals. But then they hit a certain plateau where referrals do not allow them to scale any further and now they're trading time for money and they're stuck because they don't have any more free time and because they haven't thought about their business or their structure or plan moving forwards. They now they end up in this kind of black yeah, hole. Exactly. This is how embarrassing it was when I first, like before I started with you, uh, I literally coached someone and I was doing probably about an hour and a half on their program, reviewing their footage for 20 pounds a month. Yeah. How bad is that? I can't <laughs> actually find the fact that like, if I worked that out in like, I know time is money. And if I worked that out, the amount of hours I was putting in, it worked out to be probably about six to seven hours worth, probably more than that, easily eight hours a month for 20 pounds. 20 quid. And what are you charging now? <laughs> I literally, the newest client is 197 a month rolling. Yeah. How mad is that? As a comparison. <laughs> um, and they get so much more value as well, which is great. Um, because before it was just writing a plan and I had settled for doing that 20 just because, again, the love of coaching, I wanted to get the experience and do that. Uh, but now I've got loads of champions under my belt and I, I just could never break that financial barrier of charging to the next pay bracket. Well, not even the next time, I'm like over 100 times more. So we're working with the coffee club, the main aspect that helped me loads was behind the scenes so everything's set up automation i hadn't even heard of automation prior to joining the coffee club so i now have structures in place that if you inquire you end up in in a catalog of people that i can go and look back at all the people that i have inquired in the past and same with clients so now i've got a structure with my check-ins where i have basically all my clients in a line once i've done the check-in i drag them into the next section based on how much attention they need going forward um, so behind that, in terms of the actual coaching side, I get through my check-ins a lot faster and I'm delivering a better service. So I've built like a product as opposed to just monthly coaching and that product I'm so proud of, like, um, it's proper, it's, re it is really good. Like the it value is, that yeah, I provide so good with your brand, the nutrition, the, yeah, the branding, the nutrition, the check-in system, everything is just built to give better value. So really happy with that. Looking back that I probably could have even optimized my experience over the last six months even more because it was only in the latter three months that I really jumped on the group calls and doing the group calls I found super beneficial. So seeing the other coaches and their struggles and what they're getting through, that's helped me loads in terms of my self-motivation and stuff like that. Um, so being able to network with some of the coaches I actually have them all on social media now as well. And I can drop messages to them, which is good. So the community side of that um, has been a massive benefit to me because I've always been a solo coach. So I'm coaching. I have no idea if I'm doing the right thing in terms of like behind the business and seeing all the other coaches. That's helped loads. So my goals this year is I want to grow the uh, online coaching business to be sustainable. So I'm earning quite a, quite a good amount from it anyway. But I want to branch from using it as a side hustle, as being a form of like extra income to being the main focus, the main job. Um, and we're doing a lot of traveling. So I'm currently in Australia um, coaching from here. And that's picked up. I've actually picked up several clients since being here, which has been a great experience. And now we're, we're um, changing our travel destination. We're going over to Southeast Asia, to Bali and places like that. And uh, the hope is to continue to be able to sustain being in Bali whilst coaching.
I definitely recommend the coffee club if you're a really new coach. If you're in the fitness business and you have no kind of structure, it's 100% worth it. Like for me, massive business side of it has improved loads that I now just have a system that rolls. It, it literally works itself that I have to think about nothing. Payments are automated. Emails are automated. Um, it's literally churning behind the scenes, which is help no end. Yeah. So you can spend your time actually working with your clients, doing what you okay. wanted to do. And, let yeah. them do. Um, and for me, I've never actually, I've never so much focused on the actual business side of things outside of coaching. It's always been about coaching, but then you can't earn from that. You can't just coach and earn anything. You've got, if you want to be a coach, you've got to be an entrepreneur. You've got to be a businessman on top of that. You can get so far if you're a good coach based on referrals, but when you move online, it's a little bit harder and it's definitely harder to kind of scale past that kind of three to 4k per month mark. That's where most coaches get stuck. It's because you yeah. can kind of build a business based on referrals to that point. Then you need that extra knowledge and that kind of backing behind you to scale it even further and grow. Yeah. Prior to being with the coffee club, I actually, I just used word of mouth. That was it. And I built that up to doing, I was doing 30 in-person sessions a week. Um, and then when I moved online, seven to 10 of them moved online with me. But after that, I had nothing. Like I gained no extra clients for a duration of about five months before I jumped on the call. And now I've gained on top of that probably another five to six recently, but financially they're getting way more value and it's churning more money into me for me to be provide a better service.